Hey everyone, this is Adnan with Canvas Training Videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with Active Directory Snapshot. Um, you know, previously, we did went through Active Directory Optimization and before that, we went through Active Directory uh, Backup and Restore. This is Chapter 4, Lesson 2 of, uh, uh, of uh, the exam 70-410. Um, now, Active Directory Snapshots are point in time copy of the database. In order to take snapshots, we can create a snapshot. Uh, we can uh, basically create a snapshot. We can uh, mount a snapshot, delete snapshot, unmount a snapshot using NTDSUtil and in these commands. So before uh, showing you how it is done, let's first understand what is Active Directory Snapshot. Um, now, Active Directory Snapshot, so this is my domain controller 1, domain controller 2, and this is Active Directory attached with this here. In order to have Active Directory, we know that we install Active Directory DS role, and as soon as Active Directory DS role is uh, installed, it creates a, a file called ntds.dit file, and then some other log files. Uh, now this becomes your main Active Directory, so this becomes my main Active Directory, and in this Active Directory, uh, we have user accounts, and then OUs, and then computer accounts that exist in this database, and becomes a very, very important database. <coughs> now, we can back up this database. We do have recycle bin, but what this snapshot feature does, AD, AD snapshot. It's uh, first time introduced in 2008. Now it is part of 2012, and it will uh, go on. The biggest, uh, uh, the biggest advantage uh, of using Active Directory snapshot is it's a point in time copy of this database. In other words, that as soon as you take a snapshot, a complete snapshot is taken for this database uh, at, at a certain time. For example, I can take a snapshot now, and that snapshot will be. Uh, let's say taken at 3 a.m. Uh, this is one snapshot, and this snapshot will have uh, all the. Every, this snapshot will show all of the configuration, everything as is, as uh, as we can see now in Active Directory. Uh, let's say I take another snapshot at another point in time. So this is a second snapshot that was taken, let's say at 9 p.m. So these snapshots. So. It's a, it's a point in time backup. Now, what is the biggest advantage of a snapshot? Now, let's say uh, for a moment that you had a user in this Active Directory that got deleted. If the user got deleted from this database, uh, we have many ways to restore this user. We can use a recycle bin. Uh, we can use a recycle bin, or we can restore it from the backup. But that, let's say uh, we can restore it from recycle Bin. But re in recycle bin, all data will be staying there until the tombstone lifetime, and that tombstone lifetime is about 180 days. Let's say 180 days have passed, and this user is completely deleted. Now, after 180 days, you need this user, or you need that OU that got deleted, or something uh, that you need to see. That uh, so the very first question that comes into mind that was this user part of Active Directory to start with, or that user never existed. Now, in both of these situations, since it is not part of Recycle Bin, the only option is to go back to tape backup, the, the backup yes, that, that you have taken, and then restore the backup somewhere, and then see if this user existed. We can do authoritative, non authoritative But this will take time. So, but for now, the easiest way to view Active Directory six months back is to just mount the snapshot and view, and you will see that how easy it is. So <clears throat> snapshot, in this case, since the user or the OU that was literally 180 days back or 90 days back, uh, it doesn't even exist in recycle bin, and it will take time to restore the backup. The very the easiest step would be to open a previously taken snapshot. So this is, we can open the snapshot and see that if this user was part of uh, Active Directory uh, previously. So snapshots will give us a, a point in time copy of this database. Now, when we take a snapshot, snapshot can be taken by using a utility called uh, within the utility and from inside NTDS utility, utility. 
in YouTube and uh, and we can what, what can we do using this utility we can create a snapshot we can also mount a snapshot we can unmount a snapshot and then we can delete the unused copy of snapshot so we can do all that so based on this quick understanding let's now oh just one more thing here that these all snapshots are based on VFS service which is volume shadow copy service so volume shadow copy service should be running on this server then we'll be able to take a snapshot let's get started let's see that how is it done in order to take a snapshot first of all you need to open uh, a command prompt so let's open a command prompt and once the command prompt is open all you need to do is to run a command called ncds util ncds util and the very first thing we need to mount the active directory instance so we need to activate so active activate instance ntds once it is done then we need to run a command called snapshot but if you don't remember you can always take help so we just ran this command activate instance and then now we need to run this command snapshot so you need you can say snap shot and once the snapshot is taken, we can see if there are any current snapshots, uh, currently existing snapshot, we can say list all. And there are no currently snapshots available. So in order to create a new snapshot, we can create a new snapshot here. <coughs> so now a new snapshot is created and it's created with this GUID here. Now let's list snapshots again. Once the snapshot is listed, oh sorry, we can say list all, and these are the two listed snapshots. Now, before I mount the snapshot, let me go back to C drive and show you this is how my C drive is looking at the moment. But when I mount, there will be a folder added here. So let me show you. Uh, let me keep, oh, keep it open on this side. And I'm going to say, so I said list, and I have this snapshot available. I need to mount this snapshot so this snapshot is i'm going to say mount to and as soon as you do you see that this folder is added now here within within c drive if i go inside the folder basically it has taken a complete snapshot of active directory and it, it is placed here if i go into windows folder and then if i go into ntds basically this is the snapshot of our current active directory so this is the actual directory but this is not the actual location of active directory that location the actual location in active directory it is in this folder windows and ntds folder this is original active directory here um, and but if you go to a snapshot which is in this folder this is our snapshot taken now in order to mount that snapshot all you need to do is this so first of all um first of all we need to quit from here so we need to say uh, q and q once it is done then we need to use a command called dsa name and uh, slash db db path and here we need to mount this path so this is the path that we need to mount this path now the easiest way to bring this path here is uh, just go to C drive, go to the snapshot, and then go to Windows, look for NTDS folder, NTDS folder, and just copy this path. So once it is here, just copy, just select this path, and bring this here. Here you would, you can't type this, this is too much, too many numbers. So I just copied it, and then when you, when you are here on this screen, uh, you need to just right click as soon as you right click and paste so you would see this and here all you need to do put a slash at the end and then write the file name so we need to write this file name here and this is mtbs.dit we close the code so first we started the code there we need to close it and then we need to say space once we say space and now i need to say uh, dash and I need to say L dash 4. L 
that port and say I'm gonna say uh, let's say that port is uh, 1000 enter now once you do this it actually mounts the snapshot was mounted now it is running that snapshot we'll leave that as is now in order to see that snapshot we need to open here to correct the user then computer user then computer opens uh, in this manner I'm opening a user then computer and all we need to do is this right here we can say change domain controller and here these are the two existing domain controller I'm gonna go here and uh, and type the server name so first of all my server name green frv01 and then the column sign and the port number I use so for my port number was 1000 that port number which port number I'm referring to I'm referring to actually this port number so right here when I ran this command so db path and actually my screen is empty my screen so this is the port number I use within this command 100040 here so here I'm gonna say four zeros and enter it is online so this is now the snapshot loaded now this active directory that we see this is from that snapshot this is the active directory snapshot now in order to just show you that if this is really the active directory snapshot I can change it back to my original DC so again I can say change domain controller connect to the server and let me delete something from this active directory so existing I'm gonna go back to users here no I don't want to delete my uh, let me delete uh, Dave Jones so I'm gonna delete this so the user is deleted once the user is deleted from users from the real active directory now let me mount the snapshot and show you that no changes will be done because that is previously taken that snapshot so I'm gonna say e green frv 01 and call and sign and 10000 enter and okay So make sure spellings are correct, server is correct, and then you'll be able to. So this is my snapshot, and if I can show you here within users, the users still like this. Because this is a snapshot that was taken before I deleted the user. But my original Active Directory is sitting right here on my original server. If I go back here, that user doesn't exist. So guys, this is how we use a snapshot. Now the, that snapshot will be kept on this server as long as we want. But now in order to uh, stop or remove this snapshot, all we need to do is this. First of all, uh, we need to stop this instance. So in order to stop the instance from the same prompt, just, just uh, select Control C. So Control C, uh, click Control and then C control C here uh, now you need to press both of them at the same time control and C once it is done it will come to this prompt and once it is here once it is here um, all we need to do is uh, I need to mount NTDS again in order to remove that snapshot first of all I need to unmount it because here the snapshot is uh, mounted so this is mounted I need to unmount this from Active Directory because I don't need this anymore so all I need to do is again NTDS UTIL and then activate instance NTDS and uh, snapshot snapshot is here uh, first of all list all I can see these snapshots I can say unmount to once you unmount to the snapshot is unmounted and here you just refresh your screen the snapshot is not there anymore now if I don't need the snapshot all I need to do list again list all 
and I can say delete number two, which is this one, delete number two, and snapshot is deleted, you list again. Now there are no snapshots. So now we can just quit and quit, go back to our prompt, and go back to our normal active directory. So guys, in this video, I showed you how to work with snapshots and what are the main advantages of a snapshot. Thank you for watching this video, and I'm going to see you in the next video.